Good morning, second graders. This is Mrs. Molinero. I'm going to be reading to you On Earth by G. Brian Karras. Let's get started. On Earth. For Brooke and Rick, with special thanks to Carl Mayer. On Earth, we go for a giant ride in space, spinning like a merry-go-round. The Earth spins on its axis and circles the sun in a great sweep. We face the sun, its light and warmth as we live our days. Shadows get long as day rolls into night. At night, we turn away from the sun and see a universe of stars and planets while we dream of what we can do tomorrow. While we spin, we also travel in an orbit around the sun so that by the time we get back to where we started, we are one year older. We count months as we grow. In 12 months, a year has gone by. Years go by day by day. We count them with candles and calendars. I accidentally flipped that. We count them with calendars and candles. The earth tilts on its axis when we lean away from, when we lean toward the sun, we're warmer. When we lean away, we are colder. Seasons in the Northern Hemisphere. Our seasons change from summer to autumn and winter to spring. When the Earth's top side leans away from the sun, there is winter above the equator and summer below. In winter, the days get shorter and the nights are longer. By spring, the days get filled with sunlight. We spin and we circle, rotate and revolve, but we don't fall off. Gravity holds us to the earth. Gently, slowly, around and around, we hold out our arms as we glide through the universe. I like this illustration. You can really get a sense of how we are rotating and revolving. We fly through space as night becomes day, summer becomes winter, and years go by. The Earth. The Earth is like a ball. It is a sphere. There is an imaginary line around the center of the Earth, the equator. The Earth spins like a top. It rotates around an imaginary line that goes from top to bottom the Earth's axis. The Earth revolves around the Sun in a big oval orbit. There are imaginary points on Earth's top and bottom, the North and South Pole. Gravity is the force that holds us to the Earth. Well, I hope you enjoyed that book as much as I enjoyed reading it to you on Earth.